Hello and good day everyone. So, uh, before this we have learned our chapter 2 which is second order ordinary differential equations. So, here we do some quick revision. Okay, our second order ordinary differential equation can be written in general form as a d square y dx square plus b dy dx plus c y equal to fx where a, b and c are constant and a is, in, is not equal to 0. Because if a is equal to 0, then the term here will be disappear. Uh, that makes our differential equation become first order differential equations. Okay, that's why a cannot be equal to 0. Okay, so our second order ordinary differential equations can be divided into two types. We say homogeneous and also non-homogeneous uh, differential equations. Where homogeneous differential equation is when our fx is equal to 0. While for non-homogeneous uh, ordinary differential equation second order, it happens when our fx is not equal to 0. Okay. So, we have learned how to solve our homogeneous uh, second order ordinary differential equations where we can find the general solution to our ODE YC and YC is divided into three cases. Okay. Where the first case is when your B square minus 4 AC greater than 0 where you will have two distance rear root, rear root where your lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 so you will have your general solution yc equal to a exponent lambda 1 x plus b exponent lambda 2 x okay then we have a second case where we have b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 where you have the same real root okay for this case your value of lambda 1 is equal to value of lambda 2 so your general solution to differential equation will be exponent lambda 1 x a plus b x okay you can use lambda 1 or lambda 2 it's not um doesn't matter because the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2 is equal okay and the third case for homogeneous differential equations is when your b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 okay so when you have your b square minus 4 ac less than 0 you know that your root is a complex root where you need to solve your quadratic equation by using quadratic formula and you will you will get the value of lambda in term of alpha plus beta i okay alpha plus minus beta i okay so for this case your general solution for differential equation is yc equal to exponent alpha x a sine beta x plus b cos beta x okay so this one is the solution for your homogeneous second or the ordinary differential equations okay next for non-homogeneous uh, second order ordinary differential equation we have learned two two method to solve our ODE which is the first method is called as undetermined coefficient method and the second method called as variation of parameter method variation of parameter okay where in undetermined coefficient method, you need to divide your or the, uh, the, or differential equation into two, which is the homogeneous part and also fx. Okay, so your solution for your non-homogeneous second order ODE is y equal to yc plus yp. Okay, so you need to find what is yc by using the homogeneous method, and then you need to find what is yp by using fx. You will compare your fx with uh, C x part to the power of n exponent rx. Okay, for variation of parameter, you will get your solution also in term of y equal to y c plus y p. But here, to find y p, you need to do a few steps where your y p is equal to u times y one plus v times y two. Okay, so all of these have been given to you in notes that I give you earlier. Okay, so today we will learn uh, a new subtopic 
and the last subtopic for chapter 2 which called as Euler Equation. Okay, what is Euler Equation? When What is the difference between Euler Equations and the uh, general equation of second order differential equation that we learned before? Okay, you will have the second order ordinary differential equations in Euler Equation form where it can be written as ax square d square y over dx square plus bx dy dx plus cy equal to fx okay if you see the general form for second order differential equation here you can see that the coefficient of each derivative is a constant a b and c okay but for Euler equation you will have your coefficient in terms of variable ax square you will have bx and you will have c okay so ax square bx and c is a variable coefficient where we call this form of differential equations as Euler equation okay so to for us to solve this Euler equation we need to change first our Euler equation to be a general equation here okay to be a general equation before we can choose any method to solve the differential equations so how to change this form of differential equations into the general form okay i write down the general form here a d square y dx square plus b dy over dx plus c y equal to fx so now we need to change from this form Euler form into this form general second order differential equations okay so how to change the Euler equation form in uh, to the general form we need to do some substitution okay we need to do some substitution first and what we want to substitute okay so you will substitute x square d square y dx square you also will substitute x dy dx and also x okay so we will do some substitution where we will substitute x square d square y dx square to d square y dt square minus dy dt this one is the firm's the first substitution next we will substitute x dy over dx by using dy dt so this one our second substitution and the third substitution that we will do is x will be substituted by exponent Okay, so we will do all the substitution inside the Euler equation here so that we can get the general form. Let's do this together. Okay, now I want to substitute the x square d square y dx square here. So I have a outside here. So substitute x square d square y dx square by d square y dt square minus dy over dt okay plus so the second substitution you want to substitute x dy dx so we have b in the front of this term so b and then you substitute x dy dx with dy dt plus cy equal to function of you substitute x with exponent t so we will have some function of exponent t on the right side okay so now we have done the substitution let's expand this uh, equations so we will get a d square y dt square minus a dy dt plus b dy dt plus cy equal to function of exponent t okay so now if you can see here this 
term and this term have the same derivative dy dt so we can collect it okay so what we will have here is a d square y dt square plus b minus a dy dt plus cy equal to f exponent t function of exponent t so now if you can see from Euler equation just now okay from this term from this Euler equation we now have changed it into this form where what you can see here our coefficient in this new form is a constant so now we have changed our Euler equation into the general form of second order differential equation where our first constant is a the second constant is b minus a and the third constant is c okay so for you to be easy when you uh, find or when you um, see the Euler equation to change it to the general form of second order equation the first thing you need to know is what is the value of a what is the value of b and what is the value of c then you just need to substitute it here to get the general solution you don't need to do this derivation because this derivation is just to show to you how from Euler equation we want to change it to be a general form of second order ordinary differential equation